Promoter Bob Arum says that one in-house fight that he'd be interested in making between two of his fighters would be Manny Pacquiao versus Vasyl Lomachenko. Now I'm going to quote Bob Arum directly here. He says, what fight would I like to see Manny in? I would pay any amount of money to see Manny fight Lomachenko. That for me would be a great, great fight. They could fight anywhere from 135 to 140 pounds. Manny could make 135 easy. I never asked about fighting Lomachenko, but ask me about a fight that I would want to see. Him against Crawford is also a good fight. But for me, I love guys who are almost like ballet dancers in the ring. And Lomachenko is that, and so is Manny. So those are the words of Bob Arum. Freddie Roach also seems interested in a fight between his fighter Manny Pacquiao and stablemate Lomachenko. But he's not quite as impressed with Lomachenko as some people. He thinks that Pacquiao will be simply too big for Lomachenko. I'm going to quote Freddie Roach directly. He says, yeah, Pacquiao can make 135, but I would rather him fight Lomachenko at 140. The thing is, Lomachenko, I haven't really thought about that fight because the weights are too far apart, I thought. I would love that fight. I would pat Bob on the back for that fight. I would yes to that fight. I don't think Lomachenko is that good. He's a good fighter, yes. I've seen him look terrible in fights when he first came over here. I saw him train at my gym for his first two fights and I saw him play more with tennis balls than anything else. I told him you're going to need a lot more than tennis balls to beat Manny Pacquiao. His workouts are very unusual and I saw them over here for two fights. But everything else, sorry, but everything has a purpose. He's a very smart fighter, I think, but I think he's just too small for Manny Pacquiao. So those are the words of Freddie Roach. Let me know what you guys think. Is this fight at all a realistic possibility? And if it were to take place, how many of you guys would actually give Lomachenko a decent chance of winning? Yes, Lomachenko has beaten some good fighters so far, particularly Gary Russell Jr. That was a great win. And for my money, that was by far his best win to date. But Manny Pacquiao was a whole other level. Even though Pacquiao is a waning force in boxing, he's a whole other level. Not just because of the fact that he's bigger than a Gary Russell Jr. But more experienced, better footwork, harder puncher he may not have the hand speed of a Gary Russell and pretty much nobody else does but in terms of his all-round game he's a superior fighter to Gary Russell Jr and he would present far more problems for Lomachenko than anybody he's faced as a professional in terms of the size of the fighters Manny Pacquiao came up through the weights he started his boxing career much lighter than Lomachenko Lomachenko as an amateur was a lightweight I believe he was quite big in the amateurs but it is quite common for fighters to drop down in weight when they turn professional because in amateur competition you have to weigh in on a day of the fight so it's impossible to get down to these ridiculously low weights when you're fighting in the amateurs but as a professional there's a lot more time you get at least 24 hours usually more to rehydrate way above the uh, weight limit that you're actually fighting at so if Lomachenko is as good as some people say he is then he will go up through the divisions lightweight maybe as far as 140 I think that at Pacquiao's age it would be very unwise for him to fight anybody at 135 never mind Lomachenko I think 140 or maybe a catchweight, 138, something like that, if this fight was to happen, would be far more sensible for Manny Pacquiao. We know that he's done catchweights many times in the past. If Lomachenko really wants that big money, he should be all over this fight. I mean, he's already lost his unbeaten record to Salido anyway, so it's not as if he's preserving some type of O, he's not. So if he wants to secure his family's future, then that is a fight he should be targeting, in my opinion, because that kind of opportunity to make that kind of money may not come around again at all in his career. Remember, he's a fighter in the lower weight divisions. He's not even a welterweight. How many fighters in those divisions really make crazy money? Not that many. 
There are certain fighters around, don't get it twisted, but Pacquiao's a superstar in the game. I know he's, his uh, flame is waning a little bit at, at this point in time, but still, there's nobody in those lower divisions that has the pulling power of Romani Pacquiao, at least not at this stage. So, you know, if I was in Lomachenko's shoes and I really wanted to secure my future and you really think you're that good, then speak to Bob and say, you know what? You see that fantasy fight you were kind of talking about between me and Manny? Let's get it done. Let's see if Manny's interested. Let's do it. How do you guys think that Pacquiao would fare against Terence Crawford compared to Lomachenko? Do you think he's got a better chance of beating Lomachenko or a better chance of beating Terence Crawford? Personally, I think he's got a better chance of beating Lomachenko. And if Pacquiao also thinks that, then this Pacquiao-Lomachenko fight might not be as fanciful as we're currently thinking at the moment because right now it just sounds like Bob Arum is talking fantasy land stuff. But if uh, Pacquiao is looking at somebody who could maybe give him a legacy fight in a similar way to Mayweather fighting Canelo, although Canelo was bigger than Mayweather, this would be Pacquiao fighting a guy that's smaller, but somebody who is viewed as a potential future superstar of the game. Fight him now, and then you can retire with that name on your resume. And if Lomachenko goes on to do great things afterwards, it just makes your resume look better. So let me stop waffling on here, people, and drop your comments in the comment section below. Let me know how you feel about this video, everything I've talked about, and this potential quote-unquote fantasy matchup. Let me know in the comment section, people. It's your boy Hatman. I'm out.